What's up guys? Sorry to intrude on the beginning of today's video. I just wanted to let you guys know of a couple things that have come down the pipeline uh, as of today that I want you guys to be aware of just so you have the knowledge about what's going on behind the scenes here. First and foremost, for those of you that did not get to see me create the LWA version 2 logo, the one that's currently up on the channel as the new main logo, the first VOD of that stream just dropped over on my VOD channel, which, by the way, if you guys did not know, I do have a VOD channel that has been capturing all of these streams from basically July of 2022 all the way up until now. So, if you guys want to see all of that, feel free. The link is down in the description or in the pinned comment. You guys can check that out completely on your own if you would like to. I just know that some of you are asking where you could find that. So, I figured when that dropped over on the VOD channel, I let you guys know. The other thing that I want to make you guys aware of, because some of you have been asking about merch here in recent comments, asking about stickers, patches, things like that. Unfortunately, patches are not yet available, but if you guys would like to support the channel a little bit further than you already do, which, firstly, thank you for stopping by today's video. I greatly appreciate the support and all the love you guys show on the videos here lately. It's been great to see all the new faces and getting to kind of comment and talk to you guys back and forth. Truly, I thank you. But... If you guys would like to have some actual LWA merch, I have just reopened Wolf Den Apparel, where you guys can go and find designs made by yours truly on shirts, things like that. As of right now, we have a bit of a limited selection, but I will be adding more and more onto it. As of right now, we have some Wolf Den Apparel logo tees, and we have some LWA logo tees, as well as stickers. And for those of you that have been here from the beginning, or those of you that are just now jumping in, we do have some legacy merch of the original channel logo. We will only be selling a few of these, somewhere in the range of 50 of these in total. So if you guys want to commemorate your time here on the channel from the very beginning, you guys can do that by checking out those stickers and shirts with the V1 logo. Again, those are exclusive and they will be going away after a certain number of them is sold. I'm currently thinking somewhere between 50 to 100 of them. That's all I have for right now. You guys have a good rest of your weekend and enjoy today's video. It is not a stretch to say that pop culture drives a lot of players in the world of Airsoft. I am by no means an exception to this, as many of you may have noticed at this point if you're familiar with the channel. I am a huge video game nerd, especially when deciding on what new additions to add to the channel's collection, many of which come from some of my favorite games or video game series. And today is a prime example of just that, as today's rifle of choice is one that I suspect many of you will immediately recognize. What's up guys, welcome to the Wolf's Den, and to our new viewers, it is, as always, great to have you here today. We are back at Bing for yet another amazing game of Airsoft, and not only that, but for the introduction of another classic rifle right here on the channel. For today's gameplay, I have with me my MW2-inspired M4A1, a literal icon of the original MW2, and what I consider to be the peak of gaming in the shooter world. Don't you dare utter the word Warzone in the comments. MW2, MW3, and the original Black Ops games were the pinnacle of Call of Duty, and you kids have no idea what you missed out on. Sorry, I'm getting sidetracked. Anyway, today we are back on Bing's Townfield for a game of control, where both teams are fighting over the green truck at the center of the field, and to help in retaking this position, we unfortunately do not have any 240s on the left flank, nor do we have green flares to use to call for fire, or to call off fire, if you will. But we do have our trusty M4A1 custom built by yours truly, and we are about to be an absolute unit on the field today. So much so that you guys and gals just might have to start calling me Ramirez. And if you got all of those references, you should probably hit that subscribe button. I have a feeling you're gonna like it here. Either way, with all that said, let's jump right into round one, where things start off a little less dire than attempting to retake the entirety of Whiskey Hotel. Yeah, I feel that. Still there? Oh, never mind. I'm 
much in the window. He'll be fine. I think he's peeking just enough for the left side of the building to see him, but not enough for us to see him here. Yeah, because the moment he goes in that window. I feel like I'm gonna get shot from the right. I've got a sneaking suspicion, you know. From the right side? I mean, you don't. You've got pretty good cover from the right side, so I don't think so. Yeah. They'd have to have a weird angle on you for that. One building up from you, Chief, we've got peoples. Yeah. I'm gonna go to this U and see what happens. <laughs> you're good, you're good. One more at this building to my 12. So I'm behind that. I'm not gonna keep shooting that little kid. That's not fun. They're they're scared. I'm not gonna do that. That's mean. Yeah, I've got one right here too with this building to the left, fighting with. I'm gonna see if I can get around and get a different angle on him. They, they've got me pinned from two buildings back now. I'm going to go back this way because they clearly know I'm here. That's not going to be worth it. Just watch that window. They might try to rush up on us. Because there's still this building directly to R12. We've got one further back on it too. Close or far? He's, he's shooting at me right now. With a rather secure position on the right side, I decided at this point to make it count by giving the enemies as much trouble as possible and allowing our team to score more and more points on the objective for the last half of this round. You got him. He, he, he walked out that way from that building, unless that's not who you're shooting at. Who are you shooting at? Oh. Where's that coming from? I ain't seeing it. Oh, I see it. Ah! I sinked it. I sinked it. Ah! Oh. 
Oh, ricochets. 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 Do not count if they aren't ricochets. That is fair. Very fair. Oh, hi. There you are. Right here on the corner. I see you. Come on. Peek out again. Do it. You know you want to. Come on. See him? There you go. Yay! I got him. I think I just barely clipped his arm. Uh, that's a kid's head. I don't want to shoot him in the head. That's mean. I'm going to just spook him a little bit. Run away. Run away, little one. I don't wish to give you a new haircut. That would be rude. Yeah. See, we have a little kid to the building here right through this window I don't see him anymore but he was there What was that, Chief? I couldn't hear you. Okay, where are you going? Where are you going? Okay, that works. You're good. You're good, Chief. You're good. You're good. You're all right. And in a very successful finish, it is time to switch sides and begin round two. This time, I will be pushing the objective much harder to help hold the edge over the other team, hopefully giving us a second win from our initial one in the first round. Eddie, I'm right behind you, Chief. on the back of tower ready gun hit
I like the strat, homie. I like it. I like it. Eddie, are you doing... Oh! I think I see who you're yelling at. And I gotta say, I understand. <laughs> that is spooky. Big spoopy energy. Right there. Holy Lord. Woo. He's shooting up bottom bottom of their tower, boss. Bottom of their tower. How close, boss? How close? Give me a, give me an angle. Like one building up or what? Yeah, one building up. Center or far right? Center and far right, possibly. Oh, joy, my favorite. I got one in the back of their tower. I know, I don't have an angle on him right now. I know, I know, I don't have an angle. After taking my very first hit of the game, I make my way back to spawn and jump right back in and run straight for the objective for the last few minutes remaining to hopefully score some last minute points and secure this second dub of the game.
Not anymore, no. Woo. Oh, God. Hey there, boy. Oh. <laughs> I got like five of them right there, bro. That's they cool. was all camping in there. Yeah, they seem kind of hell bent on staying towards the back. Oh, wait. Run him up, run him up. What's up, buddy? I'm not seeing them. I don't think so. <laughs> the victory run. That's great. And with that, the final round of today's game comes to a close as our team secures yet another win. And of course, that will bring today's video to an end as well. I do hope you all enjoyed today's nostalgia ridden video and hopefully it didn't make you guys and gals feel too old along the way. And if it did, just remember there is nothing wrong with being a part of the best generation of COD to date. As I mentioned at the beginning of today's video, the links to the new Wolfton Apparel storefront and to the first VOD of the LWA Logo V2 creation process can be found in the description or the pinned comment if you'd like to check out either one. If you'd like to help support the channel any more than you already do, simply by watching this video, which I am truly thankful for. And if you have the time, I will be streaming in a few hours over on Twitch, where I hope to see all of your beautiful and or handsome faces just here in a few hours. Thank you again for watching until the end of today's video. You guys truly are the mad lads and lasses that make up the community. And as always, this has been Wolf, and I hope to see you guys next time I hit the field. And remember, it is always faster to switch to your sidearm than it is to reload.